Hey everybody and welcome back. I'm Wade. I'm Samantha. And uh, today's uh, topic we're going to discuss um, the top three resorts that we have stayed at in the past at Walt Disney World and the top five resorts that we desperately would love to stay at. Um, so I think we're going to start off with the three resorts yeah. that um, we have stayed at that we like the most. Also, I just want to add in, I haven't stayed at that many different resorts. We usually stay at the All-Stars here in the past couple of years. That's all we do. So, yep. just just remember that I haven't stayed as many as many resorts as White has. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we like the All-Stars. So yeah, we really do. All right. So, I guess I'll go ahead and start. Um, and these are ranked um, from worst or less liked. Oh. to the most liked um, so the third one on my list is the Fort Wilderness Campgrounds because that is the first place I ever stayed at when we visited Disney World we stayed in an RV and it was awesome because you got to roam around um, and it also has the best breakfast buffet hands down and that would be Trails Inn so that's my number three I have not stayed at this resort. Wade's stayed there before we met. So, I didn't get the luxury of staying there. So, maybe one day. But, um, my number three would be Port Orleans French Quarter. So, <laughs> yes. But it is a moderate resort that we have stayed at. And I really, I really liked it. I liked the New Orleans theme. Um, when we took McAllister to the pool, he liked that. It was really nicely themed. Just, it had a nice vibe. I would have rather stayed at Riverside. I would like to stay there. Yep. Um, we're gonna give that another shot, staying over at Riverside. But um, the beignets were a nice add-in. The downfall was when we stayed at this resort, we used transportation only. Um, and it was awful. And we were staying at the resort when we actually were dressed up for like an over an hour waiting on a bus because there were trans we were waiting on the bus um, in our costumes for the Halloween party and the bus just kept changing times, changing times. And we know that that is something that you have to take in consideration when you do those, but we had stayed at other resorts and it was not that bad. It was nothing like that. Five, 10 minutes. 15, 15 minutes probably at the most, but over an hour and it was hot. So that's why I think that that's number three on my list. Yeah, that's really the, this is a pretty resort. Yeah. The, just the whole transportation. And I think that's actually what tipped the ice, you know, the, the whatever you want to well, call yeah. it to where we started driving. Well, I mean, you, you spend, you know, 250 a night on a room. You'd think that they're, and I guess if we had never experienced the transportation, it might not have been as bad in our opinion, but we have, and then we drive now typically, so I wouldn't choose it if I was going to stay there with transportation. But like we said, we usually drive, so when we try Riverside out, it'll be the same bus um, system as I think the Riverside is. Mm -hmm. So we would not um, count on ever using the bus at that point. Nope. So. All right, so my number two would be Animal Kingdom Lodge. Mm. Yes, that was, it was a long time ago and it's a pretty, <laughs> oh, it's so pretty of a resort. Um, but I, I mean, I don't really know what else to say about it. Well, That's just the second favorite place I've ever stayed. Well, I've not stayed at that one either. <laughs> so my um, second one on my list is All Stars Music. Like we said, we <laughs> stay at All Stars a lot. Yes. And I'd actually rank All Stars Music over Port Orleans Riverside or uh, Port Orleans French Quarter. Um, just in the one time that we stayed there, uh, but we've stayed at Music. We've stayed at all three of the All Stars on multiple occasions, but we've stayed at Music. We just keep going back there. It's always cheaper out of the three All Stars. Um, it's in the middle, so you if you did do the transportation, you can take. All stars, sports, and um, movies, and typically you could, depending on which side you were on in the music, 
um, you can take either one of those and so you get the faster transportation. So that's a tip if you wanted to stay there. Mm -hmm. um, but also it, the value of it, we don't spend that much time at our resort. Sometimes McAllister, my brother will be there and they'll go to the, the pool, but we don't usually do that. We'll usually be at the park when they do that. So we don't, we don't hang out there. So we just get the value of staying at a Disney resort, having that Disney vibe, but not having to, you know, worry about all the expenses and stuff that goes along with that. Right. So I like it. So yep. it was number two um, on my list. <laughs> so I have not seen your list. Yeah. As you have not seen mine. You know what my number um, one is. Obviously. So, and I missed my number one too. It has to be. Really? That'd be Coronado Springs. Yeah. <laughs> Just worked out that yeah. way. I love that resort. It's, yeah. Well, we haven't stayed since they've mm -hmm. added on the extra building. No, but that um, was my first resort that I ever yes. stayed at when I went to Disney. So, I don't know. It was it was amazing. It's just it's so big. There's so many places to explore. The pool is just pretty legit. And, and, and McAllister see, loved it. When it, yeah, he loved that pool. That pool was really cool. And that water slide was really cool mm -hmm. as well. But you can get some great photos. Um, when we stayed there, I was not a runner. But I hear that the running trail was pretty cool there. Um, they've added more stuff. So um, we'd like to stay there again, definitely. Yeah, One like day. <laughs> yeah. um, but also, I forgot what I was going to say. And now on to our top five. Oh, I wanted, I knew what I was going to say. <laughs> um. Oh, no, you said the, um, the resort was really large and mm -hmm. it's spread out and stuff. And that's a lot of people's downfall for that resort. A lot of people don't want to stay there because of that. But I think it's great because you have more to explore. So Right. And I think yeah. it was really so large because it was a convention resort. Yeah. Right. I think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I like it. Yeah, so. just the whole thing. Now, we've never eaten. Well, I haven't eaten there. Have you? Nope. No. Nope. So, we haven't eaten there. We don't. We. I've heard mixed reviews about the yeah. the food or whatever, but it's really cool. We can go to the parks and eat or something. Yeah. Or a different resort. Yeah, or a different resort. <laughs> that we Sana. can't afford. The, the ones that we can't afford. Uh. Okay, so now the top five resorts that we have not stayed at and would desperately love to stay at at some point. Um, starting with number five, mine would be the Boardwalk Inn. Because it's awesome. I just saw your list. This is not number five. Uh, it literally is number five. Oh, <laughs> so. you have them listed with five through one. That's it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, that whole area outside of Epcot is pretty cool. And plus it gives you easy access to Epcot, which is... Um, that's a bonus. Yes. And you're closer to France when you go in, so that's even a bigger bonus. That's my favorite breakfast. Mm -hmm. So what's um, your number five? Well, my number five is contemporary, so... Which, I mean, there's not much to say about it. It's on the cool. monorail loop. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, you get to just walk to Magic Kingdom. You just wake up, walk over there, be there in 10 minutes. Um, but then you can ride the monorail to the different resorts. You're really close to everything. Um, you're not, because some of the resorts are just farther out. So I think that one's really cool. But also, I would like to eat at... We've had Chef Mickey's. I don't want to eat there, but no. I would like to have um, California Grill. That'd be really cool. Stay there, watch the fireworks, and eat there. Um, so, yeah, yep. really cool. All right, so number four on my list is the Contemporary. That was always <laughs> the coolest resort every time I would go, up until really recently. Um, just that triangle-style resort. The monorail goes right through it. Um, like she says, we've had breakfast there before. Um, we and we've went, we've went there, yeah, we've went there a couple times just, during Christmas. Yeah, and, just explore, yeah. just walk over there. Um, it smells great. It and looks you know that, beautiful. The walk from there to Magic Kingdom is actually, it's not long, mm -mm. but it's deceivingly longer than it looks. Yeah, well, I like to walk, <laughs> so I don't so. care. <laughs> I mean, you would walk, I don't know, I like it. Okay. It's fun. Well, I mean, if you, if you parked in the parking lot over at the TTC, you're going to walk that distance anyway, so why not just stay next door? 
That's it. All right, yeah. your number four. My number four would be. Sorry, I walk. I did it one through four, so I'm gonna look. <laughs> Beach club. <laughs> so it's just. Yep. Yeah. Again. So, we're outside of Epcot. Yeah, so I have nothing else to say about that. And oh, and the pool. Yeah, I would I like say to say the pool. the pool, yeah. So, it's pretty cool. All right, so my number three would be the Treehouse Villas. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to say that. The what? I thought you were going to say what I was going to say. I don't know what your list is. I know. <laughs> but who does not want to stay in a treehouse? I mean, them treehouses are, like, legit yeah. awesome. They're pretty cool. I've never seen them in person. We've only ever driven by like the little area that you can go in. I think it was, I don't know where it was going, but um, mm -hmm. Disney Springs maybe. I don't know, it was on a I bus no or something. Idea. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just looking at the, the videos and the pictures online, definitely somewhere I'd love to stay. I'm fine with that. Yep. Um, well, my number three would be the Grand Floridian. So this would probably have always been on my number one but it's kind of moved down because I, I don't know, I love it, but I just don't know about, see, when people book the Grand Floridian, if you want the Grand Floridian, I think of staying in the actual main building, but a lot of times you're not going to, so it's like a hit or a miss, um, and I don't want to pay that money to stay there and not get where I want to be, so if I could choose the Grand Floridian, that's where I would stay. Yeah, and I think the Grand Floridian Hotel is very beautiful, but yeah. it just, I mean, we've had breakfast there a few times, mm -hmm. and we went to the gingerbread house and all that stuff, yeah. but outside of that, I mean, I really don't think it has a lot of things that I would be interested in yeah. um, if I was to stay there. Um, now, when they do finish the sidewalk loop to the Magic Kingdom, which we've always said for years, why in the world have they not done that? <laughs> Um, don't jinx it because it might not actually happen so that that would be a plus to stay in there too because yeah. you know you can walk you know like you would the contemporary okay so i'm i know what your one and number two is because it's probably the same as mine but i just don't know what order you've got yours in my number two resort would be the polynesian resort because it is awesome well can i just say it yeah that's my number one oh. Whoa, that's your number one? Yeah. Okay, so I want to <laughs> stay at the Poly so bad. Yes. Um, now, I'll tell you what. If I could stay in the villas, it would be my number one. Oh, yeah. Or the bungalows. Well, see, I, I would stay anywhere in the Poly. I don't care where. I, well, not the second floor because I would like a balcony if I had a room in one of the... Like, if it, if it wasn't a bungalow, I want a balcony. Um, so, yeah. But, honestly... We have talked about this multiple times. If we stayed at this resort, it would not be going to the parks. It would mm -hmm. be stay, like we would just stay, we would eat, sleep, do all the activities, swim, whatever, um, fireworks on the beach. It, we would go all out at this resort. So we, I mean, we may could pop over to Magic Kingdom for a couple of hours, but that would be it. Like that's all we would do. You had to get a, a citrus swirl. Oh, well, you can get, well, can you get a citrus swirl at the... I don't think so. Well, just get, get some Dole Whips. <laughs> and some um, Tonga Toast. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Mm. <sighs> so, anyways. Yeah. So, Polynesians, my number two. And my number Samantha's one. Samantha's number one. Which leads me to believe my number one would be your number two, and that would be Fort Wilderness. Or, not Fort Wilderness. Um, Wilderness Lodge. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. And that would be anywhere. Yeah. That's Copper Creek. Um, the main building. The main building. I don't care. Put me in the corner. We, I don't know. I just want to. We it. had always seen pictures and really enjoyed it. But when we went. Um, it was Christmas of 18. Yes. When we went to go look at all the Christmas trees and stuff, we just absolutely fell in love with that lobby. We didn't want to leave. We mm -hmm. had so many things planned. Um, we went around looking at the different lobbies and stuff for Christmas the day that we had the Christmas party booked. Um, and we went to Trails Inn for breakfast, yep. and then we went over to the um, main building, and we didn't want to leave. We were over there for like an hour and a half, just rocking chairs in front of the fireplace and the tree, and just like just in awe of the whole place. Nobody. We had a big party, and nobody wanted to leave. Was awesome. It was just beautiful, and it was it was winter, so. The poly would more more than likely be something that I would want to do in the summertime and or warmer right. months, and then the um, wilderness lodge would be something that I would want to do in the 
the wintry fall fall months fall <laughs> um so yeah yeah it was awesome yeah. and plus we're we're country people and well i'm like a mix of country and okay <laughs> <laughs> more I, country <laughs> it just reminded me very much of being in the mountains and which i know you haven't been yet yeah we're never go. been to the mountains um yeah, that's why polly's number resort. one on my list i'm more of the beachy tropical thing yeah not me pina coladas just bring them to me if i'm at the poly all day yep <laughs> anyways so that's our top three resorts that we've stayed at and our top five resorts that we desperately would want to stay at. Mm -hmm. uh, so if anybody wants to give us a room, um, <laughs> we will definitely take it. Well, <laughs> it doesn't yeah. have to be that top five. Trust me, it can be anywhere. No. All stars. We don't care. <laughs> so, anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe. Um, hit the uh, bell wherever it's at. Somewhere around through here. Yeah. Um, right to be alerted. Um, so yeah. Leave a comment. Let us know what your top five resorts are and the favorite resort you've ever stayed at. Peace. Bye.